Yo, what is up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video, and today we're going to be doing some of my top plays of the week, and some tips that I'm going to give you how to get better at Call of Duty. I know every single video you have out there, it's just tips, 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 it's not that good, and it doesn't give you results. Well today, hopefully, this gives you, video gives you results. These are just some top plays of my week, I have about three wonderful videos here of some of my top plays of the week, two of them are me and one of them is one of my members, uh, two of them are sniping, and this one is just me popping off of shoot house with a nice little six piece. This one right here, this Reaper, you got a nice quick scope at the end right there. Beautiful for a round win in a clutch against a 1v2 in our gunfight. So that was an amazing thing. Amazing little feat. This one was a jump scare by me that I had. Um, I was sitting here with an AX-50. I was going around the map, you know. I was playing a little slow, but um, I decided, well, you know, I'm going to try clutches for my team. It was one down, one to two. It was out of three. This last week, they had this opportunity that you could do three-on-three -three man gunfights, but with snipers. And we decided to take the opportunity and use that for, you know, good practice and quick scoping. As you, a lot of you guys might know, and a lot of my members might know, I'm not a good sniper. Anything with quick scoping. So this for me was impressive, but I did get a little bit of a jump scare at the end. There's some little extra footage afterwards. Um... Of just the team loading up uh, you guys will be able to see and just see some of our movements I want you guys to see how our movements really work but definitely always look for on the first tip always look for uh, looking points this is something I did want to add before I totally cut that out is looking for those looking Gun points point. right there and having those long-range uh, peaks now here's some gunfight gameplay where I'm gonna really dig deep into these tips and tricks number one definitely take off your controller vibration or else it's gonna actually throw off your aim. You will not realize how much more it'll help playing without controller vibration. It is absolutely amazing. And you can pop off shots like crazy. And as you guys can see, tip number two, what I wanna say, is look around the map and move around the map swiftly. You know, slide, bunny hop, do what you need to do in order to get around the map. Number three, be unpredictable. Your enemy has to make sure that you're being unpredictable because if you are predictable, your enemy is going to see you and they're going to be like, well, I knew that I was going to nade them right there. They thought that I was going to come up the left side stairs. I came up the right side stairs and I stayed unpredictable. All right. I'm not sure what tip we're on, but let's go tip number four. Tip number four. Okay. Use everything that your weapons have to offer, especially in gunfight. Use what they give you to offer. You're going to have a lot of you know, utility that you're not going to realize. So switch to your sidearm. Switch to whatever you have. You know, use your nades. Everything that you have, use it. Okay, tip number five. Something that I don't see a lot of people do. Cook your nades. Please, cook your nades. This means you can hold your grenade for a little bit longer, right? This way you can cook it up, and then on impact, it'll just explode it's great please cook your nades this is gonna help you that's what i didn't do there and this really killed me at the end so as you can see cook your nades tip number six look at your mini map oh my god look at your mini map is the best thing offered by god's creation it is amazing so definitely check your mini map especially when you're running around you know sadly gunfight doesn't have a mini map which kind of you know makes me sad because i rely on my mini map a lot um Tip number seven, split your screen into four quadrants. Think about four quadrants of a screen, all right? Look at all four of those quadrants and just, you know, kind of like a clockwise rotation, all right? Now this one I had to stop and grab a sip of water for. So I just would like to state that's why I kind of stopped here for a second. And I'm like I said, I'm not the best sniper, so I was not able to pop off the best shots with it. But at the end of the day, Look at all four quadrants and be smart. Be unpredictable. You always want to be unpredictable or else your enemy is going to find you and they're going to just kill you. Another one. Head glitch spots. You're not going to like it. You don't like people who do it. But it's going to help you in the end, especially when you're able to get those shots and everything that you want. Head glitch all day if you have to. Head glitch all day. Head glitching is going to be a lifesaver. All right? Use your corners to your advantage. Use everything to your advantage, okay? It's amazing. It's great. It's going to help you in the long run. Look for those long-range points that you can get a drop on someone. That is another thing. And move throughout the map. Move throughout the edges of the map. Always the edges of the map. Never try try to avoid mid as much as possible, especially in those giant pub games. You want to avoid mid as much as possible. Another thing that you want to do. 
Um, definitely, definitely, with your attachments, think about your ADS and your aim down sight while walking speed as well, because that's gonna help you. It's gonna, it's gonna help. So think about your peripherals. So that's what I got for you guys today. Those are my tips and tricks in Call of Duty and everything that I use and what I do in order to succeed at the game. Alrighty, see you guys soon. Peace.